Yeah, he brought the sari for one girl. <laughs> and he brought uh, things for the temple. No. And of course he distributed prasada. Prabhupada was insistent that after his lectures there must be prasada distribution. I remember in uh, the old Cal the Calcutta temple there, Albert Road, Prabhupada lectured there on the veranda. You know, many Bengali people came, Prabhupada spoke in Bengali and he lectured there and afterwards we distributed prasadam and the prasadam we distributed just some sweets we purchased from a sweet shop we offered it to Krishna and then we distributed and when Prabhupada was beginning his preaching in America, 26 Second Avenue, Prabhupada was alone. Sometimes, often he would just take an apple, cut it up and give people a piece of apple. 22nd Avenue, America, when Prabhupada was so everything according to the, our means. Sometimes you can do more and sometimes you just can't do more. But Prabhupada would often ask us, he said, bring me the prasadam, I want to see what you're distributing to the guests. I remember Prabhupada in London, we, uh, we booked a, a very big hall, a town hall in one of the suburbs of London. And Prabhupada came there and lectured and then we distributed prasadam to the people and Prabhupada wanted to see what we were giving them. And New York, at the Sunday feast, Sunday program, Prabhupada wanted to see what's all the, what kind of prasadam are you having for everyone? One time, uh, in London, Bhaktivedanta Manor, uh, one man complained to Prabhupada. He said, they're selling prasadam, Prabhupada. They're selling prasadam. Prasadam shouldn't be sold. And Prabhupada looked at him and said, because you don't donate, therefore we're selling the prasadam. <laughs> so, uh, but then Prabhupada told the devotees, better you don't sell the prasadam. So what we do, we have some prasadam which is free and then there's other kinds of prasadam which we can sell. Just like devotees make cookies and cakes and sweets and biscuits, so many th fancy things like this, namkins and you know, so these things they can be packed and sold. 
but then we have regular prasadam, you know, regular prasadam or basic rice dal chapati, like this kind of thing, you know, that can be distributed. So, Bhaktara Jahan, biscuit, uh, lemkins, Arunan packet, kore, Mukherjee, Segula, to misty, Segula, bikri kora, vache. Arje ta niyomi to bhavi je prasad, pavan ke nivedan kora chhe, seita bina mulla gitaron. I know in uh, Mayapur here we distribute kitchari freely usually. Our I'm the kitchen Mayapur and you meet the Kichuri Prasad set up in Amul Lavitaran. I've also seen in, in Delhi. In Delhi also they distribute Kichuri Prasadam. And it 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 comes out you, you get people they come every day to to get their free kitchari. <laughs> mm. So it becomes like that, it becomes a, a little bit of a problem that people, you know, they, they take advantage when you give something free, they come to get more and more. I know in London, in London they have a very uh, well-known lunch program which goes on in the temple in London and uh, people come every day and they're, they're given lunch. We have also a lecture and a kirtan and then we distribute prasadam. And so it, it becomes known to people that there's a free lunch and people, because food is expensive in England, so people come and they, and they want to take free lunch but they, you know, we have a limit to how many times they can come. In London, there is a lunch program, there is a lecture, and there is a lot of prasad. And in London, there is a lot of prasad, and there is a lot of cost. So, the people who have come to the lunch program, they have come to the lunch program, and they have come to the lunch program, and they have come to the lunch program. And so, maybe they can come once, twice, three times, after three times, then we will tell them, you know, that you have to pay something, there's a charge. If you want to come like this regular, you're going to come all the time. You can't come and eat freely every day. And if somebody says, well, I really don't have any money, then we say, then you have to do some service. You go and do some cleaning, we'll give you, take you down to the kitchen and you have to wash all the pots. So we have to understand limitations, we can't let people just simply take advantage, that they'll just simply come here and eat, fill the belly and go away and won't do anything. Like here in Mayapur, we see we have uh, different levels of prasadam. We have the Sulab kitchen, which is uh, a very economical, very low price. And then there's, you know, you can pay more if you want more and better facility. तो सेजन ना हमारे माया पुरे जरूर भिन्न रकम व्यवस्था आ जाए सुलभ भोजन आला जे प्रसाद सेकंड उत्तम तो सुलभ मूल्य सेकंड दवा है आर जो दी आरो अति रिक्त के वो अनेक प्रकारे निश्चय तो कौन सेकंड आरो उन्नत तो व्यवस्था रहे चे। But generally we try to distribute everybody gets some kind of prasada. We try to distribute prasada everywhere. तो हमरा जे तो देख बो ये सकोले जन कोनो ना कोनो भावे प्रसाद पाए ये प्रसाद सर्वत्र भी तोरण करा और वे से इवन हियर इन माय पर मेनी डॉग्स हियर आल्सो एंड देर नॉट गोइंग हंग्री देर आल्सो गेटिंग देर प्रसाद ऑफ माया पुरे देख ची हम रोने कुकुर आचे तारा वो खुदर तो थक चेना तारा उन्हें प्रसाद पच्चे सो इवन द डॉग्स आर बीइंग फेड हियर इन माय पर एमोन की माया पुरे of course, we know Krishna consciousness is in everyone, it's also in the dogs, but our real business is to give Krishna consciousness to the people. In the purport, Prabhupada quotes a conversation between Lord Chaitanya and Haridas. Lord Chaitanya asked Haridas, 
how to benefit all living entities. So, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Hari Das Thakur are made. Kotha Pradhan Prasange. Eta Udriti Ache. Uta Vijgas Karchen. Ki kore samosto jeev jagat erdara upakrita hote pare. And Hari Das Thakur told Lord Chaitanya that the loud chanting of the holy name will benefit even the most low creatures in the, in the jungle even. They can be benefited by the loud chanting of the holy name. Shula Hari Das Thakur, Tini Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Kutta Pradhan Kari Chilen, Je Uchyasare Hari Nam Kirtan, Emon Ki Pasu Paki Kirtpatango Jara Jokungale Sarvata Sakale Rai Mangal Sadhan Kare. So that's also our charity. This is the Dati principle giving. We give the holy name to everyone without distinction. The loud chanting of the holy name can be done anywhere, even where people are not devotees. There's no offense in chanting the holy name. The offense is in when you try to instruct the glories of the holy name to people. Before we try to instruct the, whole, the glories of the holy name, first we have to awaken faith in people. And we find that wherever we go, the thing which really is important to people everywhere is the chanting of the holy name and prasada. We may speak philosophy, we may speak very nicely, we may know so many slokas and so on, but it can go all, it can go right over the head or right in one ear out the other. It may, just, it's not no telling what will be the effect. But prasadam and the holy name very powerful. Kintu prasadam And this is part of this principle of loving exchange, which is done not only with devotees but even those who are not devotees. But as with devotees also we want to have this nice loving exchange. So kirtan when it's performed in the association of devotees it's very, it's very sweet and relishable because everyone's a devotee, so it has a very powerful atmosphere. And when, but when you go with other people or you're giving the holy name to people who are not devotees, it's a different atmosphere. So sometimes we may also be fortunate, we may be given uh, not just simply ordinary prasadam, but maha prasadam, the, or maha maha prasadam, the remnants of a, a devotee. So, on a summary, Sudu prasadnoi, maha maha prasad, the prasad. Now, the spiritual master may give remnants to his disciple. But it's not a good idea to distribute the remnants of the spiritual master to the general public. The general public don't have faith in the spiritual master. 
ওই বিশ্বাস নেই হি ইজ নট देयर গুরু সো ইটস আ डिफरेंट রিলেশনশিপ কেন না তিনি তাদের আনুষ্ঠানিক ভাবে গুরু নয় তাদের সঙ্গে ভিন্ন সম্পর্ক রয়েছে উই সি ইন শ্রীমদ ভাগবতম নারাদা মুনি গট দ্য রেমন্যান্স অফ দ্য গ্রেট সেজিস হু ভিজিটেড হিজ হোম আমরা শ্রীমদ ভাগবতে দেখতে পাই নারদ মুনি সেই মহান ঋষিদের উচ্ছিষ্ট গ্রহণ করার সুযোগ পেয়েছিলেন যারা তার গৃহে অতিথি হয়ে ছিলেন বাট নারদ মুনি অনলি টুক देयर রেমন্যান্স উইথ देयर পারমিশন चैतन्य One devotee desired to get the remnants of another devotee, so he arranged to give this one devotee. The, the devotee didn't want to give him the remnants. He said, "No, no, I don't want to give my remnant. You're a great devotee. I'm not going to give my remnants to you." So, at the bhakti ke, then he prasad diye tar uchchhe pade jaye. Bajna na, ami to bhakti noi. Ami kaho ke amar uchchhe to prasad de bana. And so that devotee then arranged he sent a big basket of mangoes to this uh, devotee and the devotee is very happy except he accepted the mangoes offered them to his deity and then along with his wife they relished some mangoes and after relishing they threw out the seed of the mango to tar pore tokhon ei bhakto khub chaturata sange take kichu am দিয়েছেন উপহার তখন সে সেই আমগুলো নিয়ে ভগবানকে নিবেদন করে তার স্ত্রীর সঙ্গে পরে যখন আম খেয়েছেন আমের যে আঁটি বীজ সেটাকে ফেলে দিয়েছে সো দ্যাট ডিভোর ইউ ওয়ান্টেড দ্য রেমন্যান্স হি সিক্রেটলি ওয়েটেড আউটসাইড এন্ড ওয়েন ইউ সহ দ্য ম্যান থ্রো ওয়ে দ্য সিডস অফ দ্য ম্যাঙ্গো দেন ইউ কেম এন্ড ইউ গট দ্য সিডস এন্ড ইউ সাক দ্য সিডস এন্ড যখন ভক্তটা সে কি করেছে না লুকিয়ে লুকিয়ে সেটা দেখছে যে ও যখন আমের আঁটিগুলো ফেলে দিয়েছে তখন সে গিয়ে সেটা নিয়ে সেটা গ্রহণ করেছে another past time which took place was in the cleaning of the gundicha temple one devotee bengali devotee came and he th- he washed the feet of lord chaitanya mahaprabhu he threw a bucket of water on the feet of lord chaitanya mahaprabhu আর একবার একটা লীলা গুন্ডিচা মন্দির মার্জনের সময় একজন এই বাংলার ভক্ত গিয়ে তিনি এক বালতি জল চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভুর চরণে ঢেলে দিয়েছে and after he threw the water on lord chaitanya's feet washing his feet the bengali devotee took some of that water and drank it আর তখন সেই বাঙালি ভক্তটা কি করেছে না ওই চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভুর পাদ ধৌত যে জল সেটা নিয়ে সে পান করে নিয়েছে Lord Chaitanya took that devotee and took him to Swarup Damodar and said look what your Bengali devotee has done get him out from here to tokhon Swarup Damodar er kache take dhore niye giye bojhai dekho tomar ei bangali bhakto ta eke baire bar kore dao e ki rokom koreche so we have to be very careful not to offend the devotees in taking the remnants or in washing the feet আমাদের অত্যন্ত সাবধান থাকা দরকার যে ভক্তের উচ্ছিষ্ট গ্রহণ করার ক্ষেত্রে বা কারো চরণ ধৌত জল গ্রহণ করার ক্ষেত্রে আই আস টু কৃষ্ণ মহারাজ আবার দিস আই বিকজ আফটার আই টুক সন্যাস আফটার আই ফার্স্ট টুক সন্যাস আই টুক সন্যাস নাইনটি ফোর ইন মাই হিয়ার ইন মাই পোর আফটার আই টুক সন্যাস আই ওয়াজ ইন চাইনা আই ওয়ান দ্য বোডিজ সাম দ্য বোডিজ ফর সেইং টু মি দে ওয়ান্টেড টু টেক মাই রেমন্যান্স So I asked him how Krishna Maharaj, he said, he said, are you willing to take their karma? So, I was born in Mayapur, and I was born in Mayapur, and I was born in Tamal Krishna Maharaj, and I was born in Mayapur, 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 and I was born in Mayapur. So they were not initiated devotees, they were not strictly following principles. So I, I said, no, of course, I'm not ready to take their karma. যেহেতু তারা দীক্ষিত নয় তারা সেই প্রকার ভক্ত নয় তখন আমি বললাম না না আমি তাদের কর্ম নেওয়ার জন্য প্রস্তুত না তখন তিনি বলেছিলেন যে না না সব থেকে ভালো 
But with initiation, when one is initiated, then the spiritual master is agreeing to accept the karma. Okay, so we also spoke about uh, how people are expected to contribute to the Krishna consciousness movement and Prabhupada said they should give 50% of their income. So I wanted to explain more about this because this should be discussed carefully. Just like in the, in the course of maintaining one's family life, there are many expenses to be incurred. And most people don't make a lot of money. They have many expenses, they have children to look after and so many things, to, the money goes very easily. So we, we may understand that giving 50% for Krishna consciousness, that our family are also devotees and our home is also like a temple uh, because in a devotee's home there will be offering of food, there will be kirtan, there will be pres uh, discussion and of uh, Shastra and in this way the home is not just a, an ordinary home but it's a temple. So, so we, of course, we have, we're using our money in the service of Krishna by maintaining the home. Mm -hmm. But we should be careful not to be extravagant, not to have a big luxurious home, more than necessary. And not to sacrifice so much for the education of our children, sending them overseas to foreign countries. Or putting them in boarding schools and paying so much for their, more for their education than normal. Actually, the best schooling is done at home. If, if the parents themselves can educate the children, that's the best education. We have many nice examples of devotee children whose parents are educating them at home. So, householders are expected to contribute something towards the Krishna consciousness movement according to their means. The 50% is meant for the wealthy people who are uh, Kshatriyas and Vaishyas, big businessmen, managers, these people who make a lot of money, they should give 50%. But ordinary workers not making much money, they live simply, they cannot contribute so much. The, uh, it is said, Kolaveka Sridhar, 
was a very poor man, but he was always giving every day whatever income he would spend 50% to worship Mother Ganga. Sanatana Goswami, he also gave 50%. When he retired, he waited till he retired and then he divided his wealth. So maybe you don't want to give money right now, you wait till you're retiring, at that time you can divide your wealth. <laughs> Some people, they wait, they put it in their well, <laughs> that after they're dead, their money goes to Krishna. <laughs> mm, but somehow or other, we have to give something to Krishna, we have to serve Krishna. <laughs> And the brahmacharis and the sannyasis, they have to give a hundred percent. Sannyasi is a walking dead man. He has no family, he has no material responsibilities. Whatever he has, it is simply for the service of Krishna. And this is true also for brahmacharis. Brahmacharis, they are not supposed to have any of the, any personal money. Whatever they have, it belongs to their spiritual master. Should be given to the spiritual master, and if they need something, spiritual master can give them. But if the brahmachari keeps money, then they become independent, and then if they become independent, then Afterwards, then they think they need to get married and they give up the Brahmachari. So, Brahmachari means one who is on the path of Brahman. But if you're cultivating money, keeping more money, that's not good. So we have to understand how to apply these principles in Krishna consciousness. And we said, you know, we, we don't like to give these uh, loving exchanges with non-devotees or with atheists or mayavadis. We don't take prasadam from the demigod temples. And we shouldn't take prasadam from the Mayavadi temples. Right, we only eat Krishna prasadam. So, we try to uh, observe these principles carefully. And, and when we observe them carefully, then we can develop very good Krishna consciousness. Mm -hmm. So if we got some questions. Prasna. Huh? Huh? 
68. Okay, so very important for us try to apply these principles to give, you know, to give presence to one another according to our means. And to give prasadam and accept prasadam. And then also inquiring and revealing our mind. Now, the inquiry should be done by the junior person. They should inquire about the Krishna conscious teachings. The inquiries must be in relation to Krishna consciousness. And we should select a suitably qualified person to inquire from. And that suitably qualified person should then explain to the junior person. Of course, this is a program every day in a Krishna conscious center. A senior devotee will lecture and other devotees will hear and they will inquire. All of our scriptures are based on this process. Arjuna is inquiring from Krishna, Maharaj Pariksit inquired from Sukadeva Goswami, Sonakarishi inquired from Sutta Goswami. Ba Vidura inquired from Maitreya. A Samasto Sastra Grante, A Visata, Visasa Protipona Jerum Orjun, Bavan Krishna Kastike, Prosoji Kasa Origin, Orkid Mara Sukadev Gosamir Kastike, Avar Sono, Kurisiari Suto, Gosamir Nikot Tige, Mara Judisti inquired from Narada Muni, Mara Judisti in Narad Munir Kastike, Onosan Kitila. Vidura inquired from Uddhava. Vidur Uddhaver Kastike. Our scriptures are all based on this principle coming, inquiring, and hearing from them. So, this is one of this is the process of loving exchanges between in the next verse it will be described uh, what kind of devotees to have these loving exchanges with because we have to know who who should we select as a friend and how to serve a Vaishnava? The, a, a devotee is asking the, uh, the, a question, they're saying, I would like to make a lot of money so I could serve the devotees. So is this a material desire or a spiritual desire? You have to be very careful about this kind of desire because you see, you, we, we may say, I want to serve the devotees, I want to make a lot of money and I serve the devotees. But what happens often, if someone gets a lot of money, they spend the money and a very tiny for, fraction, a tiny portion of the money is used to serve the devotees and so much of it is taken for sense gratification. 
কিন্তু এই ব্যাপারে অত্যন্ত সাবধান থাকা উচিত এবং অত্যন্ত উৎপন্ন করা উচিত এই ধরনের ইচ্ছা পোষণ করার ক্ষেত্রে কেননা দেখা যায় অনেক ভক্তই অনেক রোজগার করে ইনকাম করে কিন্তু খুব সামান্য অংশ একটু ভক্ত সেবা আর বেশিরভাগটাই সে ইন্দ্রিয় তৃপ্তি বা অন্যান্য কাজে ব্যয় করে দেয়ার ইজ এ স্টোরি ওয়ান ম্যান হি হি ফ্রেড টু দ্য ডিটি দ্যাট ইফ আই উইন দ্য লটারি ইফ আই উইন দ্য লটারি আই উইল গিভ ইউ নো আই উইল গিভ ইউ হ্যাভ অফ হোয়াট আই উইন যেরকম একটা গল্প আছে যে একজন ব্যক্তি ওই দেবতার কাছে প্রার্থনা করছে যদি আমি লটারি জিতি তাহলে আমি অর্ধেক আপনার সেবাই দিয়ে দেব So when the lottery results came out the man didn't win but he got second prize which was only half what the winner got So jay hum jabon lottery hoye je je jini je jite ase se tar ordhe tokhon peye geche oi ortho So the man came to the deity he said oh krishna you didn't trust me you took your half before to je ami to ja par kotha chilo ordhe peyechi she jene oh krishna So the, the man kept all the money. He said, "Krishna, you already took your half." So the lokta, I reke dicche. Diye tapur bojo, Krishna, you have already given me half. So everybody is thinking to get money. Prabhupada was also thinking at one point he would make money and give it to the spiritual master. But Krishna had another plan. Krishna took all of his money away. তো সকলেরই কিছু অর্থ লাভের ইচ্ছা আছে। এক সময় ছিল প্রভুপাদেরও যে কিছু অর্থ কার করে এবং সেটা গুরুদেবকে দেবে। কিন্তু কৃষ্ণের অন্য রকম প্ল্যান আছে। And Krishna took all Prabhupada's money away. His business failed. And when his business failed, he had no money, then the family were no longer nice to him. So living at home became unpleasant. তো কৃষ্ণের অন্য রকম পরিকল্পনা তিনি কি করলেন তার বিজনেস নষ্ট হয়ে গেল আর কোনো অর্থ উপার্জন নাই আর বাড়িতে পরিবারের লোকজন আর তাকে গুরুত্ব দিল না তখন তিনি শেষ পর্যন্ত সহায় সম্বলীন হয়ে আর তখন প্রভুপাত চিন্তা করলেন এটা কৃষ্ণের পরিকল্পনা তিনি আর ওই অর্থের জন্য আর উদ্বিগ্ন হলেন না So you may, you may spend all your, your whole life trying to get money, you may never get money and you may never be successful. So why don't you just preach? Instead of worrying about money, just go and preach and if the, you're meant to get the money, money will come. It's it's up to your karma. If your karma is to have money, it will come. Tai vritha erokom or taka taka kore unno samaye nosto na kore prachare nijeke niyojito koro. Kenona karma onusari kebol matro sei taka asbe jabe. But if it's not your karma, you may work very hard, you may try so many things. You may never get any money. You may never be able to do any service for the devotee. এমন কি যদি তোমার কর্ম সঠিক না থাকে যে অনেক কঠোর পরিশ্রম করা পরিশ্রম করার পরেও দেখা যাচ্ছে প্রয়োজনীয় টাকা পাওয়া যাচ্ছে না. If you really want to serve the devotees, you don't need money to serve the devotees. You just need a service attitude. যদি তোমরা সত্যি সেবা করতে চাও ভক্তদের তাহলে মনোভাবটা হচ্ছে গুরুত্বপূর্ণ. সেখানে টাকা না থাকলেও সেবা করা যায়. service attitude is more important seva manobhav tachhe oti guruttopurno you don't need money to wash the clothes for the devotee you don't need money to clean the room for the devotee kono bhakter kapod keche dewar jonne takar dorkar nai kono bhakter room ta clean kore dewar jonne kono takar proyojon nei there's so much service you could do for the devotees you don't need the money onek bhakter onek prokar seva royeche je sevar jonne কোনো টাকার দরকার নেই this is nonsense this is a bogus thing this is a stupid thing you're saying oh i'll get money and then i will serve the devotees you can serve the devotees very nicely without money এই যে অনেক টাকা পেলে আমি সেবা করব এটা হচ্ছে বোগাস এটা একেবারে খারাপ ব্যাপার না তোমার যদি সেরকম ইচ্ছা থাকে তাহলে টাকা ছাড়াই ভক্তের সেবা করা যাবে so we don't worry about trying to get money if money is going to come it will come Krish, it's up to Krishna. We depend on Krishna. That is, our taka journey would be no more difficult. 
Prabhupada didn't worry about having money and about having property. Prabhupada went to America with nothing. And Krishna gave him homes all over the world. And Krishna gave him many children who loved him more, much more than his own children. One devotee says she is eating food at home and although she is a devotee, her other family members are not devotees and sometimes they will take the food from her plate. So what to do about this? You should be very cautious about letting people take food from your plate. Let them take food from some other place. Don't let them just take from your own plate. You, there should be a, there should be a bit a plate or there should be a pot. With, with food there, it, the pots, different pots should be there with the different preparations. So let them get from the, the pot. And then we don't take from people's plates until they've finished eating. We say remnants, what's left on someone's plate we may take. But we don't take food while they're still eating. So you shouldn't have anything left on your plate. You should tell the family if they want to take food from your plate, they have to be devotees. Best is you go and eat away from them, eat in some private place. If you read the Bhagavad Gita, chapter 17, this is described. Chapter 16, 17, 17, I think, describes charity in the mode of goodness, passion and ignorance. Charity in the mode of goodness is given, is to give charity to a qualified person at the proper place, and, uh, in a holy place and at an auspicious time. And the highest charity is done without letting other people know. So, Srimad Bhagavad Gita, Satara Adhyaya, Ekhane, Tamasik, Rajasik, Ebang Sattik Dhaner Kotha, Ullek Kora Jaya, Sattik Dhan Hoche, Jaya Upojukta Jogya Vekti Ke Dhan Kora Upojukta Samaya Ebang Sthane Jeta Hoche, Thubhavane Dhame, Ar Ehi Samastha Sthane Dhan Kora, Ar Obosoy Dhan Kore, Seta Ke Jahir Kora Na, Unnera Jata Se Vesata Niya Vesi Na Jana. Yeah, we do it, we don't make a show, we don't, we don't want to go, I'm giving this charity, let, uh, and that's the mode of passion. But privately we can go and we give it without telling people. 
So the highest charity is to give for the service of the Krishna consciousness movement. If a devotee has a financial problem, can we help them? Can we give them money? Well, that is up to you. You have to consider how much financial support you're willing to give somebody else. Some people just take advantage. They don't, they, they just simply come and take money from others without doing anything, without really trying to earn money for themselves. So you have to be very cautious about this. Because if people know that you're very generous like that, they can take advantage of you. So you don't want to let yourself be uh, cheated that people come and, and they just simply come to take from you you want to be sure that they're really endeavoring or that they, they really have a genuine problem and if you help them, you can help them recover. Ideally, they get money from there, they should pay it back after some, they should be able to pay it back. Someone wants to make progress very fast, they're making progress very slowly, they have a lot of material desires, so how can they make progress very fast? So you come here, bring all your money and surrender it to Krishna. So And when you have nothing, then you are helpless condition then you'll become more serious about Krishna consciousness. Okay, we have to stop here. We can... Huh? Uh, are they what? Easy questions or what? What? So what's, what's the question? Okay, we we'll stop here. <laughs> <laughs> Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you.